Hi y'all, today I'm working on a watercolor piece featuring wildflowers. I'm going to start by drawing lines of different lengths across the sheet of paper. Each of these lines will represent a stem or a blade of grass. I really just want to create different heights so that there's some variety in this piece so it doesn't get boring. I'm going to then start by coming up with simple plant designs that I will draw at least one other time throughout the piece so that each one repeats and each of these plants will have their own colors so that each of the colors gets repeated and spread evenly throughout the piece. You can be really simple with your designs, nothing super complicated, you don't need too much graphite on this because it really is just a watercolor painting, but I like to have an outline. When I go through I want to have different heights and different types of buds or flowers so that I get different textures and there's something different for my eyes to look at when I'm done. When I'm done with my designs and making sure that I have everything filled in in a natural, elegant way, I'm going to then move to painting and I'm going to start by filling in with this green and this green is going to be used on any of the plants that I have like this. This is the one plant that I have other than grass that will not have any buds. And I'm going to be using this same green on the rest of them and throughout the grass and on the stems. The green concentration will change a little bit and this, this first plant has a little bit less of the pigment in it. There's definitely more water. And then the second stalk that I work on is um, it's slightly more pigmented but it is the center of the piece and balanced with the stems and the grass it'll look pretty good so I'll work through filling in as much of these plants as possible and making sure that everything lines up I like to use vibrant colors so for this plant right here I'm going to use blue and I like the purple and the yellow and I, I really just want to have very light summery springy colors in this piece. You will notice that most of these aren't real flowers. I've got some lavender and some poppy because those are my favorite um, but the rest of these are just of my own making and when I get to the poppies you'll see that I have filled in a base coat and then I layered upon that to create some texture and some depth you want to be able to see the different petals After all of the plants have been filled in, then I'm going to come back over with the green and make sure that I go over the really long blades of grass and the stems, and then I'm going to come through with a lighter, more diluted green to come through with the grass, and a little bit of yellow. I want to get different tones of green in the grass, and I am going to carry that grass throughout the bottom of the piece with various darker streaks of green through it.
The last bit of painting you'll have to do for this piece is just the wash in the background and um, some people will do this wash before they paint anything and you're definitely welcome to do that. I just prefer the look that it has when you bring the edges in. So I added a tint of lavender to this wash and this wash I'm bringing down with a thin tip brush all the way to the base of the grass. It's very light and it just kind of finishes the piece. And so then after this, after you've brought all of the paint down to the base, you can let it dry. And then when it's dry, you can come back over it with a thin tip pen and trace everything. And this is really just like the you're tracing the lines of stems and taller blades of grass and the basic outline of petals and just giving the, the, the stems and the stalks a little bit more body. And then you are done and that is how you do this simple painting it is by no means most detailed or complicated piece but it is fun and it's easy and I think it's quite pretty thank you for watching and I hope you try this yourself bye